All right, guys, I'm back again with a quick tutorial. Today, I'm just going to show you how I program my three position switch on my FlySky FSI 6 transmitter with my six flight modes in my APM mission plan. First, I'm going to demonstrate to you how it works. Then, I will jump over to the settings and I will show you how I get it. If you have a look here in the background, you can see that I'm running my mission planner and I'm in the flight modes tab. I have six flight mode here, one to six. And now, if you look at my three position switch which is this one it's in the first position and I'm in flight mode one when I move it to the second position as you can see I move to flight mode two when I'm in the third position I'm in flight mode three now for me to get to flight mode four five and six I gotta move my second switch into the second position and the three position switch back up into the first position now you can see I'm at flight mode four flight mode 5, flight mode 6, both switch in the top position, I'm back in flight mode 1. So let me jump over to the settings and I will show you how I accomplish that. Alright guys, we're now over into the settings menu, where we're going to mix the two channels, the channel 5 and channel 6. Channel 5 which is the 3 position and channel 6 which is the 2 position switch. So in order to do that you head over to function and setup. On the function and setup, you're going to look for sub menu mixes. So you're going to scroll down until you see mixes. On the mixes, we're going to select mix one and turn it on. For the master channel, we're going to select channel five. For the slave channel, we're going to select channel five. For the positive mix, we're going to select negative 70. And for the negative mix, we're going to select negative 15. For offset, we're going to change that to positive 6. Now you're mixing channel 5 into channel 5, so you can have 3 position on the lower end of the switch. Then we're going to go back up to mix 2. We're going to turn on mix 2. For the master channel, we're going to select channel 6, which is the two position switch. For the slave channel, we're going to select channel 5, which is the three position switch. For the positive mix, we're going to change that to 74. For the negative mix, we're going to change that to 50. And for the offset, we're going to leave that to 0%. Now you're mixing channel, five, channel 6 into channel 5 so that you can control the upper end of the switch so you can get three more positions up and in. Now we're going to long press cancel to save this and we're back out onto the, onto the functions menu. Now under the functions menu we're going to go sub menu endpoints. In sub menu endpoints we're going to adjust the endpoints for both channel 5 and 6 the upper and lower ends. So we scroll down to channel 5 And we're going to change the upper end to 80. Now for you to get to the lower end, you got to bring the switch right down into the lowest position. And we're going to change that to 52%. Now we're going, to, we're going down to channel 6. Channel 6 is a two position switch and we're going to select the upper end point at 60%. And the lower end point at 76%. Now we're going to long press cancel to save this and now we're back out under the functions menu. Now you can also scroll down to display just to verify that the switch is set correctly. So you put both switch back into the up position and if you look at channel 5 you're in the up position, second position, third position. Now for you to get the other three flight modes which is on the other side of the switch you need to switch the secondary switch which is channel 6 into the second position and channel 5 which is a three position switch back into the first position one position two position three position all right guys thanks for watching